chose Brandon because of the thing that goes around on certain websites? Is this why you came to Brandon because of the controlling of the Biden administration? So I think that Brandon, Florida is a great American city. I think the people negative on Brandon was they, when I was growing up playing baseball, they always used to beat us every year. Uh, but now I think, uh, you know, as governor, I'm really proud to be able to do it. I want to thank Brandon Honda for hosting us. And we're proud to be able to make a stand for freedom in Brandon, Florida. But, uh, so, first of all, this idea that somehow conservatism is about, like, local school boards, it's the United States of America, not the United School Boards or County Commissions of America. So the, state, the states are the primary vehicles to protect people's freedoms, their health, their safety, their welfare in our constitutional system. What Biden is doing is not constitutional. There has never been... There has never been a federal vaccine mandate imposed on the general public. I hear people talk about, you know, they used they do things in the military. Yeah, when I was in the military, they used to give me all kind of stuff. Honestly, I wish I would have thought a little bit, but I mean, whatever it was. But that's much different than regulating the military and then imposing it on civilians in society. It's never been done before. It's not, they don't have the power to do it. There's no federal police power. States have the, pe the federal the, 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 the police power. So that's from a constitutional perspective. It is worlds, worlds apart. Now, some people say, hey, these local governments, wanted to lock down businesses. They wanted to force mandates. They wanted to keep the kids locked out of school. Yeah, you're damn right I overruled them on that. Because <laughs> and the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, you, you don't have right to, you don't have the right to do wrong. And if I had not stepped in last year and made sure that these local governments couldn't lock you down, couldn't mandate, we, get, we, we wouldn't let them fine. We had kids in school last year because of me, not because of them. And that's just the bottom line. And so people can say, is it the job of somebody that, that's elected to look out for the liberties of everyone in the state? Or do you just say, hey, if someone's violating your freedom, we shouldn't do anything. The fact of the matter is, if we would have let them lock the kids out of school last year, we would have paid the piper on that for years and years in this state. If we had let them lock down businesses and restrict and do all that, we would have one of the highest unemployment rates in the country. So we had to stand up for people's liberties, their livelihoods, their right to work, people's right to own a business, and it was the right thing to do. But what Biden is doing, he does not have the, he even admitted he doesn't have the authority to do it. Though Saki admitted that they don't have the authority to do it. And in fact, even six months ago, they were all saying, of course you never mandate, of course you never mandate. And so the question is, do we actually have a constitution that constrains people like Biden, or is it just when he loses patience, he can do whatever the hell he wants to? No, I'll take the Constitution. Thank you very much. Governor, Governor, so what is your, what is your kind of argument to those who may have been, who may have objected to this particular special session saying that it was possibly a waste of taxpayers' money? What is your answer to those who object to that? So there are deadlines taking effect very soon where people were going to lose their jobs. If we had waited till the regular session, we would have had thousands and thousands of Floridians lose their jobs over heavy-handed mandates. And so, to me, to, if you think saving people's jobs is a waste of taxpayer money, yeah. heck, that's like page three of the governor's manual to save people's jobs. I mean, so what we did was the right thing to do. I wish, I wish there were no impending deadlines. I wish that no one was in danger. Then, yeah, we would have waited until the regular session. But the fact is, we had people. I, and here's the thing. You know, I travel the state a lot. I talk to people. And these are people, they don't even know I'm showing up place, they'll come up. 
And I can tell you, for the last month and a half, the number one issue that I had people come up to me, and they're very quiet about it, almost apologetic, because, you know, it doesn't fit the narrative to be concerned about these mandates uh, and the way it is. And these, a lot of the folks aren't viewed sympathetically by people, you know, certainly by, like, the CNNs of the world. They come up to me and they say, you know, I've been working this whole time. Uh, I'm just worried. They say by December 4th, if I don't do this, you know, I'm due. But here's what happened. And they tell me their situation. Most of them have already had COVID and have that. Others just, they don't think it's the right. So the bottom line is, I don't want them to lose their job. But that's what was going on. And so, you know, we could have, look, I could have very easily just said, hey, it's all Biden's fault. These co they said, companies are doing it. It's private. It's not me. I'm not personally mandating it on anyone. So whatever. I could have washed my hands of it and said, you know what? It's their fault or their fault. But that's not leadership. Leadership means you get in there and you do what you can to stand by people. And that's exactly what we did today. And that's exactly what we're going to continue to do. And yes, this was something that was really big. And we're going to obviously uh, glad that people are going to be able to, to, to have some protection, but we also have other stuff that we're going to be doing next year, and uh, these guys in the legislature go up there, they have to work uh, very hard, and we make sure that we get, uh, we get our money's worth on all that. So thanks, everybody. God bless you guys, and we appreciate it.